Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Julian. On this video, we'll be focusing on keeping yourself motivated. I think this was a, like a big thing for me, especially this year, especially through this crazy year we've had with all this lockdown and coronavirus and things going on. But I try to keep myself motivated from a lot of things, especially through this tough time. And I went through a lot of strategies I had to do just to get through. I think the first one was exercise. I took up this hobby because I thought, let me see how I go along with it and I tried to start running. I've only been running for like a year now and when I first started it was really tough for me just getting to even running 5k or even running 25 minutes. But what I did, I kept myself doing it early in the morning from 5.30 or 6 in the morning. But that what that did to me is really got me going and say, all right, let me try run 10k or let me try run half a marathon or let me run a marathon. So now looking back to it, from now to last year, I've actually achieved running a marathon and running 20 half a marathon two or three times a week. And I think that was one of the good things to keep yourself motivated is that I set myself some goals to see what I can achieve. And that's something I'm really happy with. And I think another thing is staying positive. With me, because my business was in hospitality, I'd have to keep myself positive, trying to think, oh, things will come back, but you don't know when it's coming back. So in a way, this becomes like a negative effect on your mind. So for me to keep myself positive, I started thinking, all right, what ways I can do to try and keep myself motivated to think of ways that my business is going to come back. So instead of just sitting down and not doing anything, I thought ways how I can improve the business when things can open or ways, ways I can do deliveries or takeaway. I can take, make some money to actually pay for the rent and whatsoever. So that was a way of thinking positive for me. Instead of just worrying and think, oh, what am I going to do? And crying about it. I thought, oh, let me stay, keep myself positive and think of ways to keep my business going. But that's a really good motivational strategy for me. Another thing is setting goals. Like I'd like to set big goals because setting it too small and it's achievable, it's not that great. But the higher the goal that is better for me to achieve. So with me, I said, oh, let me try run a marathon this year. I managed to do it. Let me try run half a marathon in, in less than one hour and 50 minutes. I did it. I set myself large goals, like even with my business, I'm going to open up another four or five venues in the next two years. I set large goals and then I see if I can try and achieve them. That's something I really want to do. That's, very, that's something that's really important, especially keeping yourself motivated. Another thing that you can also focus on is planning. So you've got, you set these high goals, so now you need to plan to get there. With me, I have like a planning stage where I say, okay, let me try and get my first venue, try to build up to this amount. With my second venue, I'm going to try and build to that amount. I plan like a promotional strategy and so on. So that will reach my goal. So we're planning for my running technique or running to run long distances. I planned out each week how far I'm going to do with my health, what food I'm going to eat and how I'm going to get to that decent level. So I think planning is really important, especially trying to reach a good, a good level. So those are like the key four things I'll say to keep yourself motivated, especially when you feel a bit negative or you think, oh, things are not going that way. There's a lot of many ways to do to keep yourself motivated, especially through tough times. Other things to keep yourself motivated or even keep yourself in a motivated mindset is not to, watch, not to worry too much what everyone else is doing. Well, I think the problem is that people focus too much how well other people are doing and end up not focusing on themselves or start comparing themselves to other people. I think that's a very dangerous level of, especially to keep yourself going. So with me, I try to not to compare myself to anyone. I try to focus only on me. So only competition is myself. So if I don't, if I set a goal and I don't achieve it, it's down to me to actually try and achieve that goal. So if you start comparing yourself, oh, this person's doing this or some person's doing that, it's a very dangerous mindset to put yourself in because they're not you and you don't know how they got there and you don't know how they'll end up. So focus on yourself and you'll see a big difference, especially when it comes to keeping yourself motivated and reaching your goals. Another key thing to do is stay away from negative people. Obviously, there's going to be people around you that will obviously mess up your motivational strategy. So for me, when I start hearing people saying, oh, you can't do that or don't do this or don't do that, um, I try to stay away from them or even that I just try to block them out because it kind of messes up your whole flow especially if you've got goals in the back of your head you want to try and achieve don't let anyone stop you but what a good thing is keep the good people around you that always say yeah you can do this or you can keep it up because that's what you need because you need a positive positive energy surrounding you try and get rid of all the negativity around you because it's just going to hold you back obviously it's great to keep yourself motivated but it's also to keep your, it's good to keep yourself humble 
like with me, I try to appreciate all the things I have as well. It's not that even if I'm running one or two businesses, either way, it's still it's still good. So I try to appreciate all the things I can do, that I'm healthy, I'm breathing, I've got here, I've got so much things to do. So it's good to appreciate what you have. So these are like things I do, especially to keep myself motivated, like even writing down the goals, plans, what I like to what I what I like to my what I like to achieve in my lifetime, um, positive energy, keeping away from negative people. It all adds up to a great motivational strategy. So these are things I do to keep myself motivated, especially like exercising as well. It's a really good thing for me because it makes me makes you makes me want to reach a goal I've never done before. So yeah, um, this is the end of my YouTube. If you'd like to like and share and share with anyone, but yeah, subscribe below. Let me know what you think.